Who's this? The present for you. For who? Ferris. Oh, this guy right here. Okay. They're fish slippers. You gotta put them on. <laughs> Dude, you. I've never seen that. How am I gonna wear this in New York? <laughs> Wait a second, let me see. Oh Lord, wow. Good thing I just got my toes done. Holy. They fit. Dude, can you imagine if I go to the gym on one of these? What's up, bro? Ah, uh, Ferris, very thoughtful, bro. <laughs> I love it. Very thoughtful. Next one is going to be like an airplane underwear or something. Yeah. Got it. Thanks, bro. Much love. <laughs> Wait till you come back here. <laughs> oh, my fish are dead. <laughs> it's so stupid. Thank you. But thank you. Very, uh, I'll get you back for that. Ah, uh, all right. Well, if you want to send me gifts, please don't send to this address because we're moving, so. Box number one. This box right here, it's, uh, it's a very special fish. Come close. This is a blue eye pleco. Guys, one of a kind. Very beautiful colors. Bright blue eyes like Lisa's and Ryan, not like me, because I suck. Fins are perfect on this animal. Look at this. About 10 inches erect. <laughs> He's bent a little bit. It's not the right word. It's not. Isn't the same thing? No, well, I mean. <laughs> straight. So, <coughs> curved is nine inches. Straight is ten inches. I don't know why my wife is laughing. It's a very pretty animal, like I said. The fins are perfect. The belly is eating well. This guy right here is a great contender for any Placosimus tank. And he... <coughs> Like I said, you send your bids. I'm not even gonna do a lower, you know what these fish go for. Don't even waste your time. Just send your bid. If you get lucky, you get lucky. That's it, right? Right. Oh, we're gonna leave unboxed? Yes. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> ah, number two. Now this right here, this is a dinosaur, guys. Please make sure you take care of them. This is our last super white, diamond sturgeon this is a diamond back beautiful animal as you can see he's a lot more white than the other ones the regular kind they're special selected grade and they're awesome awesome pond fish make sure again that if you take a sturgeon you have the proper setup for them but they do need a bigger tank and sturgeons are like sharks they cannot they cannot swim backwards Besides, you know, nurse shark or whatever, cat sharks, but, and then uh, they'll get stuck and die. Do you understand? They'll die. So, if you get it, make sure you have the right proper setup. It's like, if you're trying to get, like, you know, this perfect woman, you're not going to give her the wrong setup. She would leave. Well, this one would leave. This one would die. Maybe forever. Yeah. You don't need to have the per the perfect setup. You just have to need. You just need to have the perfect uh, box number two, or three. Box number three. <coughs> <coughs> so again, it's in your name, your bid, and the fish you're bidding on. So that's box number one. Super white diamond sturgeon. Number two. Oh, sorry, number two. Shoot. Let's go. This guy is about ten inches. Ten inches. Wow. So both of them ten inches. So far, really good, really good. 
But, oh, this is like me <laughs> after Christmas. So this is a Fajaca puffer. As you can tell, I had a lot to eat in this past couple of days. <laughs> Um, yeah, or girl, but she's uh, very happy as you can see on the movements of the fin. This is called a silly dance, and usually <laughs> he's doing it by finding an attractive male that kind of looks similar to it. <laughs> With a straight tail, let's do these measurements because you know, lately I'm not, they're all like bent. <laughs> What do you think? Nine, nine inches is straight? Yeah. Okay. Straight nine inches, erect nine and a half. So, beautiful, beautiful puffer. All jokes aside, this beautiful girl right here, hopefully she won't take my finger off, she's doing great. As, as you can tell, she's very healthy and eating very well. I believe once you have her in a, in a tank with background and rocks and plants and all that, her colors will really come through. Right now, she's like trying to acclimate to this white container. Box number four. There's nothing in there. Oh, 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 yes, there's something nice in there. So, this is a Luteus, Luteus Pleco Phase 2. But look at that fin. This is always one of my favorite. It's one of the ones that we got in. It's a Phase 2, but it's got perfect fins. See, you got huge fins. It's got a lot of yellow coming in already. Still got a, oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Put it back. What a jerk. Okay. Still got a lot of uh, black, but it's a phase two going phase three. Very healthy, as you can see, and he's pissed off. So let's put him back in. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. So this guy is about, I'd say he's a solid like 13. Look at that, 13, maybe even 14. <coughs> I think full straight is a 14 inch. Very big, very healthy, and looking for his forever home. So guys, I, we picked, a, I, I say, I'd say a good amount of sexy looking fish. What do you think? Oh yeah, yeah. Especially that buffer, she's very sexy. Okay, this right here is always one of my favorites. This is the Black Dragon Serratus. <clears throat> well, my wife is in front of me, so I can't really show much about it until she moves. Just talk. Oh, just talk. You always say don't talk. So Black Serratus, they come from Suriname. They're awesome plecos. They're really, you cannot touch this fish. There's spikes from the tip of his snout, if they do have a snout, to the end of his tail. It's fully spiked, and you can see, look at the back here. Those are like where it will really get to you. So if any, any fish, or if I try to like grab this fish right now, he will open up his fins and spike me everywhere. Like totally kill me. So you gotta be very careful with this black dragon serratus. But he's about 12, let's see. Okay, so maybe between 11 and 12, because the tail is bent. I say more like 11. Yeah. Okay. Livefishingpretoryfriends.com. Send your highest bid. One week. This when when? What today is uh, Tuesday? Yeah. So following Tuesday ends in one, one week. Why don't you do Wednesday? Why no, Wednesday? Just, yeah. Oh, no, Sunday. Sunday, because then we can ship it on Monday. Okay. So sorry, Sunday. Not so you have to week. Sunday. Yeah, not even a week, so you got to tighten up. <laughs> Needs a <laughs> chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one right here is one of my favorites too. This is a Titanic Plecos. They come from Brazil. And at first, he didn't come in looking very good. I had to like give him a lot of medicine and, you know, TLC and, you know, take him to the nail salon and to the go shopping. But look at him now. Mm. Ooh. I know, look at that. His colors came out, it's really pretty. Almost all the way to the top, to the, t to the front. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, He's a, oh, there you go. That's he's color. eating shrimp and cut fish. Very, very healthy animal. All these plecos that I'm showing you guys will have them here for a while. So, like, they're treated, acclimated, eating. Healthy. Healthy. Nothing wrong with them at all. Actually, I'm probably more. Not like you. Yeah, I'm probably more weak than they are right now. So, though this guy, look at the fins on his tail, too. Like, that's perfect. 
usually they don't come in like this, you know? But like, again, he's been here for quite a few months, so. What are you doing, Spider-Man? Oh, look at that! Oh. Holy crap! Attention. Go back in, Spider-Man. You just got yourself stuck. Hey. How long? Now we're gonna name him Spider-Man. Oh, Ten he's uh, 10 inches? Yep. Well, 10. If you measure like big wrist to the end of the streamer, it's about 12 inches. <laughs> okay, this one right here. I actually want to do these two as a combo because oh. they do very well together. This is a ripsaw catfish, also known as a Niger catfish. And this guy is definitely about 12 inches. I, I don't even have to measure him. Really good eating shrimp, pellets, literally anything you throw it in there. And what's really cool about them, as you can see, they have almost like the Serrato's Pleco, they have this bones sticking on the outside. They're literally will rip you open. That's why they're called rip saw, because they have- Like a saw. Yeah, they have saw many people in the past, and now um, fishermen are afraid to um, hold them. I'm not, not even lying. Just, Wikipedia? Mm-hmm, monster fish, river monsters. Um, and this is a kawara catfish. You don't really see them in the hobby that much, especially at the size. You can see this guy is super fat, so. And, um, also, they, he has the same, like literally from here back, it looks like the rib saw. It's just the front that looks different. You see, his snout is more round. What the? Why are you so mad, bro? You can see the snout is really round, and the rib saw is more like a sharp rib snout. Sword. Yeah. I love these guys, though. They're super cool. All right, so these will be as a combo, okay? When you put a bit on them, it's for both of them. So let's recap real quick before we go to the two last boxes. We have the diamond sturgeon, the super white diamond, the blue eye pleco from Colombia, the fajaca puffer from Africa, the luteus from Brazil, titanic from Brazil, black dragon from Suriname, Kawara from Peru, Ripsaw from Peru. I almost have like the voice of those like, ah, I almost have the voice of like the, those Disney carts when you sit on it. You know, when they take you from your car to, to the park? Shuttle. Yeah. It's a cart too, no? Oh, this one right here, guys. This is a, uh, I would say, Eight inch, yep, I'm right on the spot. Eight inch flame pike from Suriname. Really pretty pike. I think anybody that gets these guys, they'll be so happy with them because their colors and their demeanor really shows in a perfect setup. What I mean by perfect setup, like a tank that has driftwood, plants, a background if you can. Here it's kind of hard for a lot of these fish to display their personality because it's a lot of fish, in a tank with nothing on it because we're doing a lot of water changes, we're cleaning a lot. So a lot of times they don't show their true beauty. But this guy is really, really pretty. I love the little blue dots on the, at the end. And the top fin has a lot of red, it's really pretty. So he's in there. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is number 10, the last one. Now this one is a group. And this is called med barbs now they are pretty cool i didn't see them before or i never really saw them for sale until i found them this time and my wife didn't believe me that they're called med barb so i'm gonna research here med barb look how cool they are oh my phone's always dying Sorry guys, low internet, here. So they can get pretty decent sizes and they turn out to be really, really pretty. Can you back up a little bit? There you go. Look how pretty that fish is. So as you can see, they can get to a decent size. Look at this one.
So really pretty barb. I have a whole group of them. They're, they do awesome in ponds as well. But I don't even know how many is in that group. Can you count? No. I don't know, probably 10 or 15. Let's just say 10 of them yeah. to be safe. So a group of 10, send your bids to livefishatredtoyfence.com. This barb is right here. If you're looking into that family of like barb, masseurs, things like that, we still have a few of the blue masseurs. They can all go together, by the way. Those are these little guys, and they'll turn out like this picture. I'm going to put it up right now. They get turned really, really blue. They're awesome pond fish as well. And the thicker ones are called lemon barbs. Now, the lemon fin barbs, they've got the yellow barb as they grow, and they turn out to be a very tall and strong barb. Really pretty. They get really big as well. Super cool for ponds. So basically everything in here will do very well in ponds, especially the Chinese high, uh, banded sharks. They can take colder water and they can go in with a sturgeon, koi, anything. Pretty much any of these guys. I don't know, don't count on me. I don't know about the masseas and the lemon barbs if they can take super cold water, but I know the, the banded sharks and the sturgeons can. All right, well, you have all the fish that we have. Oh, no. Oh no, look what I just saw. Jerk. Jerk, what the heck, bro? You were doing so good. Uh, yep, his whole bladder, if you go up a little more, is sticking out, you see it? Oh. I'm gonna have to poke him. Damn, I mean, look at him, he's still got a lot of strength, so it must have just happened. But I can't take too long. I need to try, try to save him right away. I just don't have anything to poke him right now. I'm going to have to call Lenny and see if we can get a needle tomorrow and try to save him. But, dude, I was hoping to bring him up to New York. <coughs> Damn. It's a $2,500 fish. <laughs> Got to save him. All right. Well, we got it. I'm gonna try, maybe the next video, I'll do it on a video for you guys to see how to try to save your fish with the swim bladder problem. I don't know if I will be able to or not, but at least we'll try together. All these fish are on this auction bidding war, if you wanna call it. I'm gonna put them back. I know what they are. Just like I said, send your bid to livefish at with your name and the fish you're bidding on.